Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm here to show you how to do picture in picture for Camtasia Studio 8. This also works if you have previous versions of the program. So, uh, you'll need several things for this to happen. One is you'll either need a another live video for the background or you can use a uh, image. Um, I would recommend using a live video for the background if you if the video uh, you made was a live image like a, you recording uh, things or people or interviews anyway uh, a logo or a solid background is what I would use if you're uh, a video maker like me someone who's the, who does tutorials and whatnot so I'm gonna use an image and I'm gonna use my channels logo so all you have to do is right click that and add it to timeline once you've of course imported the media into Camtasia Studio and I would recommend doing a uh, picture and picture clip for about 10 to 15 seconds uh, or 10 to 20 seconds 15 seconds probably being the best so I'm gonna drag this out for about 15 seconds close enough so um, once you've got your background image there and you've already selected the uh, time frame for that go ahead and add the videos to your timeline so I've added my first video here and if you notice it is the actual full video so I'm gonna shorten that because I don't want the actual full clip playing so I want to you want to make it uh, again at the same length as the background so 15 seconds and of course you want to edit the audio and mute the audio because you don't want the audio playing when you're doing your picture in picture so go ahead and add your second video clip and again do the same drag it till it's the same length as the other tracks and of course mute the audio so uh... go ahead and select the top track and simply drag and drop. We'll drag and release till it's a size where you want it to be. So this size looks good and as you can see we still have our background image there and you can just click and drag it to an area of the screen where you want it to play. So I want it about right here it looks good. So you want to do that to the second track or the previous track and again drag that and the cool thing about this feature is that when you're resizing you don't have to guesstimate or or try to get it as close as possible to the previous uh, clip that size that you made because as you can see Camtasia has these cool yellow outlines that lets you perfectly uh, render the size of your clips so they're all matching sizes so there we go so we have our two video clips on the left hand side you can either have it a uh, little spaced from the uh, the border the outline of the main uh, background image or video or you can have it touching the outline I prefer to have it spaced out and it should look something like this you can also go as far as to import some uh, another image so that you have like a cool subscribe button assuming you're using this for YouTube or anything like that and you can move that right here subscribe and this is what it should look like if you followed my directions carefully and did it right these two clips should be playing while uh, uh, perfectly and lag free while you have your background image logo going or your live video playing so I'm gonna press play and test it out for you guys and there it is it seems to be working successfully and I like that so we're gonna go ahead and render that and we'll see how this looks once this is rendered So I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video here for you guys so you don't got so you guys don't have to watch the video being rendered. 
Okay, so we have our video here that we just finished rendering and we're going to test it out and see if it works like how I edited in Camtasia. And there it goes, as you can see, both of the video clips are playing simultaneously and they will play both 15 seconds each. And of course, I have my subscribe logo here and uh, I have my background image here that also works or you have your you may have your live video clip playing and the cool thing about this is if you're using PIP for YouTube you can actually use annotations to uh, perfectly cover this box these boxes and use uh, links use uh, redirection links so that when they click on whatever clip is playing here it they'll be redirected to that video either through the uh, same window or through another window so thanks for watching be sure to like and subscribe to my channel